Blake Money Right business. I'm very unhappy, very unhappy that this guy walked in off the street, a nobody, a part-timer. BMW thinks he can come into my territory and try to take what's mine. I wrestled three matches in one night, well over 60 minutes inside of the ring against the best that WCWO has to offer. I went through Damian Real and Logan Myers. And then I went through the man beast, Hadari, just to get the outlaw champion of the main event, Benny Machete. How dare you challenge me in my home type to a voice blood man. You obviously do not understand what I do when I'm not in the ring. Done pissed off. I'm a butcher. Blood is my game. I can make you bleed for a shot. had a bad knee, I might have had a bad hip, I might have had a bad back, but I was this close to beating you. You know deep down inside that this is your last ride. This might be the last time you ever hold gold. I am the Sicilian Strangler for a reason. This close. Past Friday night, I was this close to winning the Outlaw Championship. Two important words, this close. I hit you with the number one knee. I was crawling, crawling back to the championship that I have worked so hard to get to. I was this close to winning back the championship that helped define my young early career. Once again, WCWO will be Blake Rice Stone. I dare you to show your face back in my arena. You ain't got the guts. <laughs> Welcome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WCWO Friday Night Live, but this is a special one. It is Freaky Friday. I am Brian Clark in the booth, and I am with Big, Big Pete this yeah, week. Been a while, been a while. <laughs> and uh, hey, we're getting things kicked off already here. Already tonight, we're getting things kicked off, and you know what? I know it says announcer Tim on the graphic. I'm going to switch that camera 
Anyway, Pete, go ahead and talk about what we just saw. Yeah, oh, great. I mean, look, great matchups last week. Uh, you know, like Blake Money Wright said in that, talked about his uh, three matches he had and still was within moments of taking the Outlaw Championship away from Vinny Vachetti. But, man, Vinny fired back at him and said, man, you don't have the guts to come back into the arena and face him one-on-one. But, man, it's going to happen tonight. First blood match. We haven't seen that in a while here in the building. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, it has been a while since we saw a first blood match here. I I honestly don't know the last time we saw one. And coming to the ring now, we've got all these guys dressed up in costumes. It looks like Tigger out there. I see somebody's in a tutu. That looks like Savage Pogo wearing a tutu. Oh, my goodness. Man, there's... It was all kinds of people back here ready for this matchup. I don't know. How, what are there, 30 people out there, Brian, or more? Has to be. Has to be. Man, they're, they're, the ring's full of people on the outside. Yeah, so. <laughs> I don't, I'm pressing a lot of buttons here, so let's see. Nope, that wasn't it. <laughs> well, you, you got one going, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's the wrong graphic up there. So, yeah. Still says announcer Tim, but oh, well. <laughs> It is what it is right now. Oh, yeah. Look, look. Dave's in tonight, special ring announcer. But also, I know, like, you know, we got the costume battle royal starting right now. But also, we have a casket match tonight. Shorty P with Professor Wiley taking on Jackson Morgan. That's going to be, that's that's crazy. I mean, if y'all saw that video, went up from Jackson Morgan. He finally spoke, but he didn't have much to say. No. On top of that, earlier this week, we put out an altercation between J.K.O. and Logan Myers. And you know what? We'll get back to the rest of this later. Yeah. Let's get to the action. Oh, man. Poor Tigger. And this is just chaos right off the bat. we got out there? We got Tigger out there. What the heck? Is that Ruff Cody over? What's he wearing? You mean Ruff Cody on the outside? No, that's way too big. Oh, Ruff Cody is in the ring. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's wearing there. He looks like a pine- a reverse pineapple. Then we got uh, Michael Myers. Michael Myers. Choking. You know, so as you can see, Dutch Boy Platinum rolling out of the ring there. Dressed up as a clown. I, I don't think he got that this was supposed to be a costume. Big, big pile of poop got eliminated. I see him walking off. Yeah. I think I would call that the drizzling. Never mind, I'm going to stop. <laughs> I see uh, somebody saying, oh, look, that's, that's a big skull crush. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on in the ring right now. Yeah. And please, Timmy. Oh, oh he's got eliminated. Uh, this is too much going on. I can't even tell you who else is in here now. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the announcer cam. (laughs) All right, right, Pete's going to go try to fix that camera. I think it might have just come unplugged. I don't know. And out goes Rey Mysterio. And Timmy dressed up as a, a preacher. That's a scary thought, honestly. Mike Myers holding his own in there. And, and it looks like the ladies' man, Mike King, lost a lot of hair. He's in there. We're getting a, a retro view of uh, Baron Von Kane. Yeah. 
and Pogo wearing a tutu missed a big right hand. Caught up in the corner. And is that is that Cutter in the ring? No, that's not. Okay, I don't know who that is. I can't make out who that is. Dalton Love in the corner, taking it to Tigger. I guess he didn't like that somebody was kind of dressed like Lily Love. And we got the other camera angle back on. Oh, and Dalton Love gets sent over the top rope by Jordan Ticker James. Pete got it fixed. HDMI just come out of the camera. Oh, okay. Hey, it's a uh, we we got a packed house tonight, and Jordan James misses. But a bold ladies man, Mike King, he he made a splash in the corner against Mike Myers. And a much shorter Boy, skull crusher. I don't know if you could hear it back there well, but I was out there, people were going crazy for Michael Myers. I don't know why. They were He's a for serial Michael. killer. He is a serial killer. I guess Halloween hasn't ended. It should have. It should have. Uh, whoa! Is skull crusher like oh. imitating Adari? It looks like it. <laughs> Guys, this, this is always just a fun match. It's an annual oh. tradition here at the Outlaw Arena. Uh-oh. And Mike Ladies Myers go. sends the bold ladies man, Mike King, looking like he did when he came out of the womb, crashing right, to the ground. The ref's the ref's getting it. The ref is getting it now. That ref looks a lot oh. like Jay Beef. Hell of a, a spine buster. But hey, if he wanted to be a ref, he shouldn't have gotten the ring. And the ref gets tossed over the road. Will he eliminate himself now? Hold on, hold on. Mike Myers has been eliminated, but we know that's never the last of him. No. And Tigger hopping, hopping, hopping around. Oh, the crowd's <laughs> chanting too, man. Crowd's well, everybody too. loves Tigger. He's got ADD. <laughs> <laughs> Down to the final four, we got Jordan James dressed as Tigger. Scarecrow, well dressed as Scarecrow. Baron Von Kane dressed as Baron Von Kane. And who's this other guy in the corner? Uh, uh, Devlin. Who's Devlin? Uh, newcomer to WCWO uh, tonight. Well, that's a way to make an entrance. And Ticker trying to be everybody's friend. Of course, he would be. Yes. Oh, oh no. man. This ain't the 100 Acre Woods. <laughs> You know, I'm really excited to oh. see that, that new horror movie coming out called Blood and Honey. It's a horror movie based off Winnie the Pooh. Oh, yeah, I've seen that, man. <laughs> it looks awesome. Well, <laughs> while you were talking to me, poor Tigger got eliminated. Yes, he did. Now it's Baron Von K or whatever. Red Baron, I guess, huh? <laughs> yes. Isn't that a pizza? Uh, a pizza, but it was also uh, a big flying ace. Back, I believe, in World oh. War II. See, my fat butt would know as a pizza. <laughs> we are down to the final two. Skull, or sorry, Scarecrow and Devlin making his debut, who did not get the memo that it was Halloween time and he should dress up. Maybe that is his costume. Is his costume an indie wrestler? It could be. <laughs> Speaking of that, hey, I, I want to throw I had to. Kevin Mitchell was making some crazy yes. flyers out yes. there this week with the Halloween costumes, man. Also, a shameless plug, and not even for me, but for those on TikTok. Look up Jack Vaughn, uh, Indiana guy. Uh, he, he's making some great TikTok <laughs> content about indie wrestling. It's phenomenal. And a wow. running bull wow. by Devlin, sending Skull or Scarecrow face first into the mat. You got Skull Crusher on the back. I do, right yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all struggle with that from time to time. <laughs> Here we go, folks. Down to our final two. Let's 
Necro with a big comeback here on this now. People don't know how to knock anymore. You notice that? No. <laughs> it's that generation of hair. You know, it's not mine. Uh, Scarecrow, what are you doing pinning him, man? It's a battle royal. Battle royal. Gonna go over the top rope, buddy. Yeah. That uh, that bulldog must have done something. Turn it into our truth suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> I love our truth. Oh, he's great. <laughs> Natural treasure that man is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think he's a vampire too. He never ages. No. And if he was here, we'd probably be in Chicago, Illinois, right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, he used to wrestle in Indiana quite a bit. Yep. Yeah. I actually know a lot of people that have uh, worked with him in the music business from Indiana, so yeah. I even made a couple album covers for him back in the day. Well, Scarecrow trying to get the fans behind him as Devlin gets up. Drop kick since Devin crashing. Yeah. Scarecrow, you got to get him over the top though, yeah. man. If you keep beating him down, you're going to struggle to get him up. You got to get him over. I see Reggie Edwards is back after being gone for about a month. Yeah, unfortunately. I guess not all can be winners every week. <laughs> you know, I never checked our mic levels, but it looks like we're right on Wait a minute. Hold up. Oh, Devlin gets sent Devlin. over the top. Yeah, Scarecrow put the block on and sent him over and sent put Devlin over. Scarecrow victorious wow. tonight. You know, Scarecrow making his return after he's gone for about a month also. Were they together? Who knows? Oh, I got to mute that. The music started playing. Yeah, I just noticed. <laughs> I, I got a, a message from Sony Music on a video that we did like a month and a half ago. Yeah, yeah, I get those all the time. It happens, oh well. Yeah. It happens. No biggie. The thing about it is they'll block us or whatever, but then they come back and say, you guys are okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wait a minute. Well, Devlin got up, but yeah, we're going to. All right, I got this working now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it look like them guys ain't got no eyes, especially Because they don't. They don't. They got cut out. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Did you take your pencil to the picture? <laughs> yeah. So, again, uh, we, we put out a video earlier showing an altercation between J.K.O., Logan Myers, where Logan was sitting there laughing at people during training. Joey was like, dude, what? why aren't you in there training? He said he don't have to. He's here watching people try to be as good as him. Yeah. Hell, you were there, Pete. Yes, I was there, and he got very, very, you know, Kids just trying to talk to him said, look, man, we all can get better. We all need to try our best and uh, everything. And he just laughed at Joey, basically. But, man, I'm glad I was there because that's the best I've seen, uh, you know, Joey get in a long time when it's not even anything to do with a match. Right, right. Well, then we also have tonight Dalton Love. I believe that's a title match. Putting his title on the line. Is that right? I that I can't get no clarification on that, man. Yeah, well, we'll have to find out when it happens. But Dalton Love taking on Jordan James, hopefully not dressed as Tigger this time. Yeah. <laughs> to later tonight. And then. But if you also. This is one that we do gotta re we 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 do not gotta talk about. Yeah. As T J Powers comes out, he T J Powers you see coming out part of VIP. Going to be in a match against Johnny Wade for the Outlaw title. Yes. But let's go to this right what here. I, I, WCWO I, Tag Team Championship match. I did there's, an update there, today. Yes, there's something Facebook. There's something missing here. Yes. Yeah, I did an update today to let the fans know that uh, one of the members of the highlight reel was injured over the weekend and will be out for some time. And they knew that they would not be able to defend the titles in the timely manner that they should be defending the titles. So... Reluctantly, they are relinquishing the titles tonight 
and we will be crowning new tag team champions. That is very unfortunate to hear, and honestly, we 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 wish, obviously, you know, the, the health of every, you know, yeah. wrestler that steps foot, not only in that entranceway, but in into this ring here at the dub. Yeah. We never like to see injury. We, it don't matter who it is. We never like to see it. And from what I've heard, one of the members of the highlight reel um, is going to be out till at least November. The end of November, it, yeah. And probably even the so even at end least of December. Yeah, at least November. And they knew they wouldn't be able to defend the titles within the 30 days. And instead yeah. of being stripped, because they've been stripped of the titles a couple of different times, and they yeah. hate that. And, and, and we want to put this out there. They they contacted us. They let us know about the injury and said, "Look, yep. you know, we, we understand what has to happen. So we're we're getting ahead of this." They already gave us the titles. Now that doesn't that doesn't mean that we won't see the other member of the highlight reel. So, yeah. No, they're actually here to give us the titles tonight. Right, right. So yeah, so we will be crowning new WCWO tag team yes. champions between M2P, the Russians, or Ruthless Domination. Let's go to the action, though. From Atlantic City, New Jersey, weighing in at 261 pounds, he is a senior member of the VIP. He is a superstar, T.J. Powers! And now introducing your WCWO Gunslinger Champion from Parts Unknown, he's simply now All right, well, this got started off really quick. TJ did not even let the the, out, the Gunslinger champion get announced. Yeah. And now, this match is being sponsored. I can't remember the name of the sponsor right off the top of my head. Um, we'll get that out to you later on, folks. Will we? You sure about that? I hope so. Hey, that's a little loud. Let me turn that down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's an ongoing battle right there, Brian. Yes, it is. Yes, up, it down, is. Up, down, up, down. Seems like our own switch of the bodies would change on their own <laughs> from mute to back on. <laughs> Oh! Wait a minute. Johnny Wade moved. One, two, three. That is it. it. Looks like TJ tried to throw Johnny Wade into his chair and it backfired on him. Johnny Wade continues to roll on as your gunslinger champion. Man, that's been a while now. Yes, the gunslinger champion remains. Championship with Johnny Wade. How oh, that happened so fast. <laughs> David Lee announcing tonight. Happened so fast, he didn't even get time to get back there and, and be able to see it. Wow. I guess you better never blink around here. Oh, I should probably mute that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Since we're not live right now, I'm just uploading them to YouTube. Yeah, we'll just let YouTube yell at us. You know, actually, YouTube don't really yell at us. They're just like, hey, man, we saw some, uh, co we, you know, we found some copyrighted stuff on here, but that's fine. We'll let you use it because these people, like, you know, you just don't get money for it. Right? Like, we get enough views to make money on YouTube anyway. Exactly. So, yeah. Now Although... Look. Keep watching, folks. Maybe we can. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I did see that Facebook now has a way. To do ads. No. To charge tickets for live streams. Wow. So, once we get that looked at and figured out, we may bring back the live streams a little sooner than we thought. So, yeah. Let's go back to uh, David Lee here. 
who is standing in the corner and not doing anything. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm really spacing on the muting there. Uh, <laughs> so as you heard quickly for a, a brief second there, this is the highlight reel making their way out here. Uh, maybe we'll get some clarification as to which one is injured because uh, we couldn't figure that out oh, earlier this week. Damon. Damon, okay. Damon is the injured one uh, coming out to, to relinquish their tag team championships. And, and look... They, they practically own those titles. They've owned this tag team division since since the relaunch. Um, yeah, nobody's held these titles longer or more times than they have since that relaunch. Or hell, I mean, if we had a history book, we'd have to, to go back and see. Basher might be the only one to have held it even longer. Yeah, because I know they've held it, what, five or six times now? Yes. Well, let's go to the ring.
your back. You heard it there, Big Pete making the call on the fly. Right there to, to kick VIP to the back, a little bargaining, a little uh, negotiation there on on Itch's part for to have at least one member of VIP out there. And look, I'm not a VIP fan, but hey, fair is fair. One of the highlights, if you know, Damon's gonna be out there, then they should have one out there, sure. Although, with Damon being hurt, I still think that they have the advantage, uh, VIP has the advantage here. As this match, this impromptu match gets started. Oh, and Dam Damien about to uh, catch Itch off guard there. And Pete walking in, into the booth with the tag team titles in possession. Very unfortunate that they have to hand those off, that they have to relinquish them tonight. Due to injury, I would have rather had them do it dude, because they lost their smile. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Yeah. I, mean, I guess half a highlight reel is better than no highlight reel at all. That is true. And one less VIP member is better than yes. all of them. So, yeah. I, I agree with the on the fly, the Omaha that you called out there to kick him out. <laughs> <laughs> No, they're, they're used to uh, jumping it, in two, three, it, four. Itch it is out there yelling at a 10-year-old that's probably taller than him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a fun yeah. night. We're going to have fun in this booth tonight. <laughs> it's a good thing he wasn't wearing green tonight. Yeah, because then I wouldn't be able to put up the WCW logo. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to do that. There you go. I'm going to chroma key Itch when he's wearing all the green. I see uh, our refs out there. Heck, he's standing a little bit taller of the ropes than uh, Itch is there. <laughs> <laughs> is, does Itch go to Subway? Can he see over the counter to pick what ingredients he wants? <laughs> I, I, I don't even know if he can. <laughs> oh, wrong button. There we go. <laughs> You know, I, I, two, not three. You know, I kind of wish these had, like, the, you know, like on a keyboard, they have that one Braille button. Yeah. I, I wish this had that on here. That way I could just know where my hands are at without looking. You know what would really be cool? We had the cameras that hooked up to every single one of them. Yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, I got two more. That'd be fun. But, oh, we can't even get somebody to run the mobile cam, so. Yeah, we can't get nobody to run the hard cam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, anyway, Itching controlled this matchup now. So, hey, if you guys hear this in, like, a week or two, uh, anybody want to run camera, I will teach you. Yeah. <laughs> Hit us up. Yeah, a lot of our guys have started out here that were in training, starting yeah. out as camera guys. Yes, yeah, so it is a good way to train them on how, how to work towards the camera. Yeah. And, and, and I think a lot of people forget that about what we are. We are also a training facility. So, which we, we get hit up a lot about training. But a lot of people, they don't want to do it, and then they never show up. Like, man, right. look, I'll tell you what day and what time to show up. You yeah. show up. I don't need 100 messages. Either you want to do it or you don't. Right. You know what, folks? Quit worrying about uh, when's our next class starting. Yeah, just ask just us, show man. Up, just show up on a Sunday or a Tuesday yeah. during training time. Well, ask first so yeah. that we know you're coming. But we'll, we'll tell you when's a good day to show up for it, and, yeah, we'll get you there. More than likely, we're going to have you come in. And, again, you either want to do it or you don't. We don't need to message back and forth 100 times. You know. Yeah. <laughs> We've had guys come in and after the first day of seeing what goes on and stuff, yeah. they realize that there's a lot more to it than just chopping somebody on the Look, chest. Training with Jake and Joey is not easy. No. <laughs> As we see Damien, am I getting that right? Damien real. Yes. Taking it to itch right now. And so far, Baron of VIP is playing it fair. I think David Lee is glitched out in the entrance way. Yeah, I think he's making sure he doesn't <laughs> leave no more. <laughs> he, he don't want to get caught again like he was with the last one. He's uh, he, he, Somebody restart the matrix for him there. <laughs> standing drop kick to a almost standing hitch. <laughs> Sorry, these are so easy right now. <laughs> I might have watched uh, Ruthless Domination's videos too much. <laughs> Hoping to see another one of them this week. <laughs> Did you try the uh, the hamburger rice krispie treat I brought in? <laughs> not yet, not yet. Oh, let's get an angle we can see there. This building needs to be about five more feet wider, and we'd be able to catch that angle <laughs> with the other camera. Yep, yep. <laughs> Two count after yeah. the, the the blows to the head in the corner. Honestly, not having the, the Facebook feed up here, like I don't know what to do with my left hand now. Yeah. Always oh, refreshing and checking for comments. It's a little odd, something I gotta get used to. And I guess I can turn our headphones down. Can you hear? Yeah, I can hear. I'll turn it down a little bit. It's loud out there. Yeah, it is. 
Now we're doing good, though. Can you hear us still, though? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we're good. I'm looking at our All right. Our, yeah. We're good. And it's raking at the eyes of Damian Real. Everybody here on, on the on the staff that, that came in throughout the week helped decorate. Uh, they, they did. You guys did a great job. Just want to shout that out. You know, honestly, having those giant pumpkins out there, like on the entranceway, reminds me of the uh, the Holly uh, the Halloween Havoc entrance yeah. from about 20 years ago. Which did you see that recently resurfaced the big pumpkin? Yeah, I seen they had, uh, had came on their show, didn't it? Did they have it out there on their? No, show? Uh, no, it, it, it resurfaced online. That I guess I think it was one of the uh, props guys okay. um, from WCW back in the day has had it all this time and actually uses it every year as a Halloween decoration in the okay. yard, right. which is kind of cool. Now, if only we can get our hands on that, because uh, let's see, we have a WCW ring. We have a WCW canvas. We have the old Thunder announce table. We got uh, we got a couple of WWE canvases. Yep, yep. Uh, one of them, one, WrestleMania. WrestleMania. Yeah. When it was here. Yeah, I don't know which one that is. I don't know if that was. I think it's eight. WrestleMania eight was here, but I've heard it was eight. I've heard it's ten, and I've heard it's eleven. So. <laughs> Whatever number you want to put on it, yeah. From. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we gotta do a show one day, or just a video one day, where we show some of the, the cool things that we do have from, you know, the national companies like that. Well, we got we got some nice stuff from uh, the old WWA from Indianapolis here. Yeah, we do. And also, if you see in the background, on to the left of the giant standing pumpkin guy, uh, you see there's a new WCWO uh, logo sign up there, yep. made by a uh, longtime WCW fan. And, and friend of many of the people that work here at WCW and wrestlers, uh, also did the mural that you can see Over right there the, on the back. The right, uh, and to the left, right in front Yeah. Of all that whole wall he That did. whole wall, uh, Kevin Mitchell, shout out to Kevin Mitchell, does a lot of the artwork for Joey's chairs. Um, TJ now. VIP's chairs, yes. Yeah. And there we see Baron getting involved. It was only a matter of time. As uh, Damon Real argues with Itch, distracting the ref. Come on, Damon. You should know better than that. Irish whip off the ropes. Clothesline by Itch. Sound like Rice Krispies, man. Hey, snap, crackle, and pop, man. Yeah. I needed to pop my neck back. <laughs> well, you, it, it hurt and it was giving me a headache. As Itch, uh, a headache for everybody, stomps Damian Real in the corner. As he walks around looking like a Stay Puff cloud. Yeah. I just, we need to make sure we start plugging our YouTube channel on Inside the Dub. So yeah, we'll be able to see the show. I also we'll need to make up. sure I upload on a more regular basis. Yeah. I see you just <laughs> uploaded the one from uh, June of 2021. <laughs> yeah, and one from like <laughs> December. Yeah. Yeah, we are trying to. We, we, we had a YouTube that was updated regularly for years, and then somebody who used to manage it changed, basically tried to take over the account. They changed the email, the password, and all that. We could, we got locked out of it, so we had to create a new one. It's like the fifth YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> but now, like five people have the password and email and, and all that, so we're good. <laughs> Couple people just got to keep in mind it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yes, actually, uh, if we can get, I think, I think you need like a thousand subscribers, and you can actually go live from your phone on YouTube. Yeah. Um, which, which is an avenue that we have looked at. Kick out after two. It still got some fighting. Oh, and he, 
That could single. be it. What do they call that? Huh? Wow. Well, normally that's done with two members. He was able to pull it off with just himself. Oh, low blow right, right in front of the ref, but the ref was distracted talking to Damon Real. And luckily for this ref, it's Halloween out here looking like Uncle Fester from Adam's family. <laughs> I'm roast Everybody's getting roasted tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to after oh, you make such a terrible move like that. And now you're just gonna allow them to chat? Like, what is this? They didn't call timeout? Literally, you're right in front of you again. Oh, hold on! Little Wait a tweet magic! No! Yeah. Distracted him, got the roll up he there. Thought, he thought it was <laughs> He thought it was David Will on the outside. Because he wasn't wearing a shirt or his jacket or anything. Yep. And it's throwing a temper tantrum on the yellow brick so road. That's what a Oopa Loopa looks like throwing a tantrum. I remember one time I was running a sound and he was throwing a temper tantrum. And, and I brought up the uh, the Wizard of Oz like music. Oh, the watch music? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that made him even more mad. That was fantastic. They may not be tagging together right now, but that twin magic is still there. Yes. Yes, Damien Real. You see how I, I quickly fixed that one? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Damien Real coming up victorious against one-fourth of VIP's itch. In an impromptu match. Yeah, and, well, Itch is the one that wanted the matchup. I know. And, look, the highlight reel, weren't, they weren't planning on a match. At least we don't think they were because, you know, well, maybe they were. They, it is WCWO. They're what? smart enough to know that anything can happen. Always be prepared, yeah. man. Yeah, he came out with his gear ready. So, yeah. Well, up next, let me. Uh, well, we got Itch going to the ring with a mic here. That's all right. Earmuffs. <laughs> they pretty much had the upper hand this whole Oh, match. this is the best thing to happen all night. Itch gave up a microphone. Yeah. And quickly, too. <laughs> well, coming up next, we have the casket match. This long standing feud that's caught on for months between Shorty P and Jackson Morgan. Hopefully it comes to an end when one meets their early grave tonight. Yep. I'm gonna go out here and make sure that it gets organized and get this going here. We got stuff we gotta get carried out there for this. All right, hey, send somebody in. All right, well, yes, Big Pete goes out there. He's going to find somebody to uh, to uh, uh, fill in for for him. He, he's going to go get all this organized, make sure the casket is still intact, make sure it gets out there in one piece. As Shorty P makes his way out to the ring, accompanied by his manager, Professor T.S. Wiley, this Irish ape. I, this this feud has 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 gone on. It, it, it's it's been like a slow leak, but there there was always still something there between Jackson and Shorty P. Jackson obviously still is, is not done with Shorty until he's buried him. So hopefully this this does bring it to an end. As 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 we're waiting, and uh, I can hear the commotion outside of the casket getting brought out.
Just waiting uh, to hear music or something. All right, now I'm hearing Jackson's music, I think. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And, and I see some commotion out there. Looks like they're, they're working on getting the casket out. And there he is, the killer himself, the monster, Jackson Morgan. Looking for his latest victim. And he, he's kept quiet. He's kept off the radar. Which most serial killers tend to do. They go through a lull. And there you can see the casket has made its way out to ringside. Multiple people having to bring it. And look, that is a heavy casket. I mean, it is heavy. That is It's a legit casket. Not light at all. As Jackson walking around ringside. And then let's see if he, he causes any commotion with everybody else at ringside. So far, no issues. And then, guys, you know, since I got the time, next month, pull up a calendar here. I will tell you. On, uh, well, let's go to the ring. To win this match is to be put in their pocket and the lid has to be shut. Very important. Hey, Introducing first from County Court, Ireland. And this match is getting started now. And immediately, T.S. Wiley trying to make his presence known in this match. Hopefully, Jackson doesn't let that stay on him. They're calling for the casket. Wiley immediately getting sent into the casket right off the bat. <laughs> As you hear Bruce McGar's loud mouth yelling, why don't we do that last year? Good question. As Jackson Morgan stands on the casket, not letting Wiley out of it. And he, they, he got his, he got, he got somebody to bring Big Pete over to sit on the casket to make sure, to make sure that T.S. Wiley can't get out of it. Oh, it just smacked him on the back. Oh, double chop to the back. It's Jackson Morgan. Runs in with a back elbow while Shorty P was stuck in the corner and another 
huge set of chops from both hands on Shorty P. Crowd chant one more time. And they got their wish. We're in a giving mood tonight, it seems like. Reggie checking to see if T.S. Wiley is still alive. Big leg drop by the monster Jackson Morgan. And another, oh, I thought he was going for the leg drop but it stopped in the midsection. As this match is continuing here, we're being accompanied in the booth by our still gunslinger champion who won in very quick fashion tonight with a, with a roll up after TJ screwed up. Johnny Wade, the gunslinger champion. Thank you, thank you. It's good to be on the, on the air with you. Yeah, TJ tried to feed me completely through a chair. Yeah, I saw that. And, and luckily, you were able to step out of the way. More stumbled, but hey, it works. Hey, stump, stumble, I waddle, it don't matter. You, saw, you get to where you're going. You saw a big heavy mass coming at me, it's time to, to move. Yes, yes. And, and, and what were you dressed up as out there during that match? Because yeah. we saw you as Rey Mysterio in the Battle Royal. Right, 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 that was for fun. No, that was uh, that was a gunslinger. Sometimes uh, he comes out when, when, when odds are long. And, and, and make no mistake, even though he's, he's quite an ass, uh, TJ Powers is legit. Bad yes, ass yeah, you don't take TJ. No, TJ that's that's a bad, bad man, and, he, and he's got a whole group behind him. Is bad yes, ass. yes, and, and luckily for you, you were able to end that match quickly enough that they didn't even have time to come out and interfere. Yeah, right, right, because I know uh, 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 WR is not quite at full strength these days. Right, so you got to kind of stick and move when you're dealing with Yeah, you, you got Max Sterling who who's been out injured. Yes, he's dealing with some uh, nagging injuries. Uh, Joey dealing with his own stuff, and tonight right. he's with Logan Myers. Right, and that's so going to be So it's just been you and Coco holding it down for WOR recently. Yeah, we're doing our best. And, and we really can't see anything right now. Yeah, the down. The corner. I see Big Pizza taking up residence on top of the coffin. Well, you know who's in the coffin. Is, that, is Wiley? Yeah, here? Wiley's in the I, coffin. I, yeah, yeah, I was watching on the monitor back when I was changing. I thought I saw Wiley get plunked <laughs> yeah, in Yes, as, as soon as the match started, uh, uh, he got man. tossed in there and dealt with pretty quickly. Well, he deserves that. Wiley's a... Uh, and you've Man, been, you've been in the, you had your battle with uh, Shorty P and with yeah. your partner in WOR Pogo. Yep, two death matches. That, uh, I think that was, was Pogo's way of making sure I was here for the long haul, making sure I had the fight in me. Uh, he's been kind of the gatekeeper around here for a long time. Yes, yes. If, you wanna, yeah. if you're going to make this roster and, and try and make your, make your way up it at all, you got to go through the gatekeeper and that. Until he well, sides different as Pogo. It, it's Halloween. Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll call him the Key Master. A little the Key Master. Okay. Yeah, there you go. He's the yes. Key Master. <laughs> Man, big, big, big Jax is out there stomping. Oh, my goodness. I mean, yeah, we can kind of see him out there. Yeah, it's just uh, off screen to the left. He just yeah. stomped the beast knockers out of, uh, out of Shorty. And Shorty can take a beating. I mean, I've seen that man get carved up. I mean, I had and the action's coming big Pete's that, way, and Pete yeah, ain't even faced. Yeah, big Pete ain't even. He's like, move me, I dare you. Shorty just, oh, he's gonna eat the mat again. Hell, that casket's probably a more comfortable chair than what we got here in the booth. If he smoked him off, the, he bounced his head off the ring. Oh yeah, the casket. The casket. That's the casket. the casket right there. As we have another casket back yeah, there. That, yeah, <laughs> that's a tough damn casket. Oh, uh, Pete uh -oh. got up. Uh oh. And he, he's telling the the Jack is trying to end it. To, to open it up. Oh, oh, Shorty's blocking it. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's doing something. Yeah, oh, 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 hold on. Oh, did, did, he, did, did he tripped Shorty into get... it. He tripped into the casket. He Shorty did, but raked, he can't get it close. Shorty raked his eyes, and, and Jax fell in the casket. It's over. The Shorty just, oh, my God. I think that is three weeks in a row Shorty has won. He just raked his eyes, and Jax fell into that casket, and Shorty pushed Big Pete on it. Yeah, That's, it's over. Shorty P won a casket match. Oh my gosh! Um, what, this, Shorty P is legit on a win streak. Legit. Three weeks. That's like three in a row. Yeah, three in a row. 
that Shorty wow. P has come up victorious. I, I, Shorty didn't wrestle last week, correct. but oh, he, he wasn't Wiley. here last week. And T. S. Wiley got out of there. Yeah, Wiley, that's oh, a, that's just, an unfortunate sight. I'm gonna mute that. That's an unfortunate yeah, sight that uh, Wiley got out there. Wow. I was hoping he got stuck in there, Pete. No doubt. How the hell did you let that happen? I saw that. I saw. I saw Shorty push you, and you sat right down on. Wow. <laughs> well, it, it, this is a dub. Anything can happen here, right? That is, yeah. Unfortunately, that is true. Pete, what match do we got next? Uh, we actually are going into intermission. Oh, okay. And we'll be coming back with uh, Logan and Joey. Okay, Logan. Okay, so Logan and Joey My or sorry, Logan Myers, J.K.O. Coming back after intermission. So, folks, we're going to take a, a break here and uh, see what happens.
the capsule still in here? Well, they just find us. All, All right. right. All right, here we go. I guess round two. Yo, well, part two. Part two. That's all I was typing anyway. Part two. Do you know what match we got next? Yes. What is it? Joey Owens. I called him Joey Myers earlier. I was mixing them up. <laughs> I was mixing them up there. But yeah, we'll uh, well, I ran it on and then had to mute it again. But yeah, this is the next matchup. Logan Myers taking on the owner of WCWO, Indiana legend, veteran, JKO, Joey Kid Owens, Indiana Kid Jr. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'll, I'll be honest, he got really lucky that uh, his son was busy moving because I was trying to get him to steal the old Indiana Kid gear for me and I was going to get in the costume battle royal oh. <laughs> as Indiana kid. He, yeah. got, he, he got really lucky on that one. <laughs> yes, I definitely uh, hit up his son. I was like, hey, can you get me this? I'm going to go out there. I mean, I have the mullet wig and all. <laughs> but wouldn't it wouldn't even fit though. That's the thing. Uh, it, it wouldn't have fit him afterwards. It is spandex. <laughs> It'll stretch. It just won't go back. Would have stretched them, seams of, <laughs> them seams would have stretched a long way. <laughs> Yeah, I would have looked more like but, the revolting blob from Billy Madison than I would have been in a kid. <laughs> yeah, so we got this big matchup, folks. And you saw uh, earlier during the week what caused this match. If not, go back. You know to what? While we're waiting, badge. while we're waiting, I will okay. just try to show it here. We'll cut away from that so I can get the graphic up. Let's see if I can't just show this while we're waiting. Give me a second here, and I will pull it on up. There's something. Look at all these young, hard-working training students. Oh, my Lord. Uh, round of applause for all of you, because that's what we do in this world is try, right? Yeah, try succeeding. It's pretty fun, isn't it? But I'm going to sit back and critique because I feel like I have the merit to do so. I've earned that right by backing it up every single Friday night. All right? Ugh. Kick my feet up and enjoy myself as I always do. Hey, I want to see that again. Hey, Logan, 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 Logan. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, can we have a talk for a minute? I guess. So, what's this request I get about you in your own private locker room? All right, all right. I mean, look, look, Joey, Miss, Mr. Owens, I've been having a lot of a lot of the wrestlers, you know, saying mean stuff to me, not being very friendly. I don't like it. Quite frankly, I think I deserve my own locker room. That way, I can get I can get my wits about me, and I'm ready to compete once I walk through that curtain. Well, you know what? This is never going to happen. Sorry, buddy. Seriously. Why? Seriously, you're not no better than anybody else in this locker room. Well, that's Seriously. what you think. <laughs> well, we have a lot of great talent here. Seriously? Yeah, we do. You think better than and you have else. the you have the best talent here too. The best talent. Yeah, more. Yeah. You're looking more. at them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just one of those kids, man. One of those kids. Yeah. Well, I'm the kid, not you, buddy, because I'm still young and up and coming. You understand that, Joey? Yes, I understand. Am I, am I speaking that's, to you that's clearly? That's to your job. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah? Is get better. Well, I'm doing it pretty well, ain't I? Yeah, so watch your attitude right here, though. Don't be the man. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, huh? You going to put the boots back on? You going to shut me up? You going to shut up loud and proud, Logan Myers? Well, I would like to see you try. Hey, hey, you, hey, hey. Where we are? You made a Logan big mistake, Myers. Joey. You made a big mistake. You don't put your hands on me. You're gonna regret that. You know what? You know what? That's what I think of you right there. That right there.
All right, well, you, you, you saw what was leading up to this match. Saw what was leading up to it. Now it is time for the match to happen. A lot of craziness. Yes, it is. Joey Kid Owens did not like Logan's attitude uh, during training. Not at all. You know, tra and honestly, look, this is pro wrestling. We we have to deal with egos. You know, it, it, and we have to deal with characters. You know, because, look, I mean, hell, even myself, I'm a character. I'm not saying, like, oh, I'm acting differently right now. But, no, if you know me outside of this, I'm a damn character, right? You got to deal with me being me, which, which is a handful. And, and I'm not the only one like that here. But Logan he has this ego about him that that honestly is, is, is unjustified with his short time in the business, you know, with his, his short list of accomplishments – of, of him thinking he is a true stapled rock star. Like, yeah. And, and, and here at the dub, especially during training, that's the time to, to leave ego aside. Yeah. You know, to, you, that that's you're here to work and get better at training. And if you can't do that, don't come to training, you know. And hold on. What, what do we have? What do we have happening? Joey Myers, man. I told are, you. Are we sure that that's Joey, though? We saw Michael Myers in the Battle Royal earlier. Are we sure that's Joey? I, all well, I, I don't know. Look, I, look I'm, I'm spooked right now, dude. That is creepy. Although, like, I didn't JCW have Leatherface as a wrestler? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so it's not out of the realm of yeah. the world of wrestling to have that happen. And David uh, Lee, yeah. braving it, staying in the ring. And here's the thing. If you've been to the to the dub for a live show, what is tattooed on Logan Meyer's chest? Yes. Yeah. This Michael is his, yes. And the ready, I mean, out of uh, There's a heart or something. No, just Michael Myers. Just Michael Myers. And look, Michael Myers, I, I'm hoping that's Joey. He ain't moving. He even knows where Michael's from. But yes, it is Haddonfield, Illinois, which is in a real place. There is a Haddonfield, New Jersey, and it's right next to Voorhees, New Jersey, which is kind of creepy. That's also where Camp Crystal Lake is. Oh, it is Joey. It is Joey, and he's going right after Logan Myers. Somebody ring the bell, maybe. Well, no, this is a regular match. There it is. Both men in the ring. Logan running for his life. And he just heard Logan pleading for, for Joey to back off, saying he appreciates everything he does and this and that. I thought he was going to throw that at Reggie. I was actually going to be on Logan's side for a second. Yeah. Why didn't he? I don't know. I am too, actually. <laughs> Who, Reggie? Yeah. I give him hell every day. <laughs> Literally every day. I mean, you've gotten texts from him. Does he not know you can send more than one sentence at a time? Yeah. <laughs> As a JKO gets Logan Myers in a headlock. 
Not for long. Right, and quickly moved it. Somebody turn that mic off. Yeah. <laughs> How's that, Joey? Huh? Uh oh, real funny prank. Come on, Joey. I mean, hey, it, it, it was funny for us, and it had him ready to piss his pants. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> a big slap to the back of the head. Now. Yeah. Sending a message. Yeah. Yes, maybe you come to practice a little more often, you'd know it's coming. Well, then you're assuming that Joey's in the ring at practice. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's at that stage. He stands on the outside, tells you what to do. <laughs> Well, they were good. I wanted to test the strength, but a, some, a lock up of some sort there. And Joey quickly showing his veteran prowess, but right there, right there, that was it. Logan, younger, quicker, got up, got that headlock snapped in. Yep. But then the veteran move again, roll out of it. And he's got the strength on his side. Yes. But even then, that, that, that takes expertise. In, in time in the business to know, oh, I'm in a headlock, let me just roll him out of this. And yeah. Let's hope not, that's a felony. <laughs> <laughs> we already saw one person put in a casket tonight. Which again, how the hell did you like? You know that is three matches in a row, Shorty PS1? I didn't even want to be out there. I got drugged out there by the damn reaper. Why didn't you come help me? Because you were holding Wiley in a casket. We were all helpful for that. Hell, if we all could have fit on that casket, we would have. <laughs> <laughs> we should have just dogpiled on it. Myers, first thing he's scared of in life, and he gets it tattooed on his chest, I like guess keeping your fears close to you. That's actually not a bad concept. Trading strikes back and forth, these two are. Oh, that one leveled Logan Myers. European uppercut by Logan Myers. Oh, I thought he was going for the whip there, but no, he has his arm tangled up. And, and look, there's that ego, that, that sarcastic attitude that Logan has. And you know what they say, sarcasm is the poor man's wit. It'll come pretty quickly, yeah. yeah. And it, it, it with Wayne Silver, a three count can come pretty quickly too. Yes. <laughs> Even if it wasn't a three. <laughs> it can be a three. <laughs> I love flipping Wayne crap for that. <laughs> Wade Silver, a senior referee. Snap power slam by JKO onto Logan Myers there. Both men on the ground. I tell you what, if you don't know if that move had uh, pain in it or not, 
that's Wayne Silver's reaction. Yes. When he's in the ring, man. Yes. Somebody that's that close to the action, he can tell you. Man. Hold these guys back up. Oh! Whoa! That one hurt my chest. I now have heartburn. Oh, come down hard on his back and hips right there. Oh, Double stomp, stomp yeah. yeah. Two count, two count. Bro, I thought he was calling for it, my man. He was. You figure that that double stomp would have been enough, knock enough air out of him, keep Logan down. Oh. for Logan right now. Oh, this could be bad here. But you don't see moves like that often from JKO. There's a reason. Yeah. <laughs> he had as much vertical as Billy Hoya from White Man Can't Jump. <laughs> Did he get that high? No, he didn't. Remember, he dunked at the end of that movie. <laughs> I can't let him go away, get away with that one. <laughs> Hell, he'd be mad at me if I didn't make fun of him for that one. <laughs> but he tried it. He tried it. <laughs> and you know what? He still got enough of that foot on the Logan. Oh! A rubber dope there. Oh, and look, Logan giving it back to him. That just fired him up, though. He said that wasn't a good enough chop. Oh! oh. oh. Wow, it knocked, I think it knocked his tooth out or gum out or something. No problem. <laughs> Oh, that was a bad word. There goes the one for the night. Somebody go tell Blake he can't say it now. <laughs> Logan. <laughs> we can still be PG-14 or TV-14 with one. <laughs> At two, we're R. <laughs> Logan deciding what he needed to do or wanted to do there. Get the roll up. One, two. No, Joey hit him with the, the heels. Two more clicks, and he would have been oh, back in Kansas wow. where he just sent Logan Myers. Man, he's got to be out. Oh. Ooh. Going for a suplex. Still showing that the old man's got it. Pink belly before tossing him down. <laughs> That's it. One, two. No, Logan still got it yeah, in him. Kid knows better than that, man. Yeah. Yeah, he tried it, though. Yeah. Joey sends Logan Myers into the corner. Ah, uh, he's fed up with it now. No, missed. We saw that earlier. Roll up one, two. Three, that is it! Wow! Logan Myers, victorious off of a crucial mistake made by yes. Joey Kid Owens. Some you don't see that. Very seldom you see that. Unfortunately, you know what that means. We're gonna have to hear about this from Logan Myers. As he slowly takes the mic. I am the Lizard King. But will he drink Bailey's from a boot? I don't know. 
I'm not. I draw a line somewhere. <laughs> oh, that's an old, uh, like, a UK sketch yeah. thing. <laughs> You've seen it? Yeah. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but yeah. <laughs> my brain is weird. My, my brain functions like a normal episode of Family Guy, so... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have not, no. Uh, yeah, they've, uh, they've really pushed the envelope this year. <laughs> All right. Well, what do we got next, Pete? We got the territorial. Well, I don't know. If the I still can't get word on that, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we will. In a moment, but, yeah, that match is coming up next. I guess uh, Bruce McDonald, I don't know if you saw his uh, remarks to that match. No, I didn't. He said we're going to have a women's match. You assume I pay attention to Bruce McGar? Come on now. What was that sponsor, Pete? Do you know? It's supposed to be uh, Peer Mentors. Okay. Peer Mentors. Do you know what Peer Mentors is? I personally, I don't. I, I, uh, I don't know a hundred percent, but with the name of it, I'm sure it's going to be that it's a mentoring service uh, to help people out. Well, well, there you go. Pete figured it out based on the words that it's called. <laughs> right. I met the gentleman tonight that come in. Yeah, I met the gentleman tonight. Uh, come in. Uh, Johnny Wade brought him in tonight. Okay. And, uh, it's a place where he works at, I believe. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get some more info on that. Because apparently they're going to be sponsoring WCWO for the near future, which is yeah. fantastic. If anybody runs a business or is watching this, hey, hit us up. If, if you got any kind of charity or mentorship program, we are all ears for those. Yes. So, yeah. Um, actually, Pete, while, while we're waiting on Dalton Love and Lily Love to come out along with Jordan James, Go ahead and talk about what we got with Mary Riggs coming. Yeah, uh, once again, we are teamed up with Mary Riggs, neighbor, Mary Rigg Neighborhood Center, and we are doing our toy and food drive, and it's going to, uh, we've already started it. Uh, we're collecting canned goods and things. Uh, I believe, Brian, you're going to be getting a flyer put up on our page. I am. I, yeah, he <laughs> forgot. I sent it to you. <laughs> you know, I've, I've only had to create 100 graphics this right. week in videos. So, uh, we are going to get that put up there. But we are doing a toy and food drive. We're also collecting blankets. I'll get it Monday. Yeah. <laughs> I'll start yeah. it Monday. We're collecting blankets, <laughs> glo uh, gloves, hats, all that type of stuff. Everything families need during the uh, holidays and the winter months ahead. Okay. So. So, just bring them to the dub? What, what do they do? Yeah, bring them to the dub on... Uh, so, on canned food night. items? Canned, canned food, food. Canned goods. Uh, we're also... Uh, boxed Win goods. Winter coats, gloves, hats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brand, you know, no. We're taking new winter coats. Yes. Uh, new hats, new gloves, blankets, uh, board games. So, uh, we are still doing some toys and games. Because that's normally yes. what we do. Yes. Is, is in the past, we've collected unopened toys that, that get distributed. To families in need, you know, who, who may not be able to to provide their children with a Christmas, yeah. which, which look, I'm not a I'm not a fan of Christmas. I make that no, I do not hide that, but uh, that that is always unfortunate, you know. Yeah, so we want to help out there. This time of the year, you really see uh, how many people are really in need. Yes. Uh, during that time period, because a lot of a lot of businesses slow down this time of the year, and people get laid off from work this time of the year, which is really sad. Yes. I know you see the the industry, you know, like the uh, retail industry is really booming, but a lot of other places aren't. And then there's a lot of people still still out there looking for work. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know. So. Oh yeah, and, and look, the we we understand about the economy, how we feel it here. Uh, yeah. You know, it affects everybody. Uh, the economy does so. Um, yeah, so if, if you're watching this and coming to the dub, uh, bring uh, uh, winter coats, hat, gloves, hats, yeah. just anything you can to help out. Right. Uh, we, stuff that's on that list. We, we may even do a small promotion. Uh, you, I mean, and, and if we yeah. do, we, we'll announce that immediately when, when we get that figured out. But there's stuff on that list that I was really surprised at, like a can opener. Right. And stuff. But we'll get back to that here a little bit. Mark Hill. So. Dr. 
All right, well, it, it wasn't announced as a title match, so Dalton Love, I guess, refusing to put the title on the line. Technically defended it. Once every 30 days. Yes. And, and he did defend it a few weeks ago, I believe. Yes. So, yes. And maybe, you know what? It, you were right. Maybe it is Axel. I thought he, he was just in the process of making a new kendo stick, and it just, you know, that's that's the first stage. <laughs> but, no, everybody out there giving him the old uh, hacksaw chant. Yeah. Don't love taking uh, umbrage with Reggie out there taking pictures. I don't blame him on that one. Yeah, I updated the fans too. I know you haven't seen her uh, tonight. Post this up there, but uh, Rachel Armstrong was not allowed in the building tonight. They yes. They did get a restraining order put against her. It is temporary. We do not know how long it's lasting. We've got some people looking into it and everything. Yeah, it, 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 it was because, I mean, I, I got a little bit of the info here. Um, because she put her hands on Lily, but let's – I don't know how they got away with that one because Dalton and Lily came out and put their hands on her first. Well, it's probably that case where the uh, they I, showed their evidence, but the rest of the yeah, evidence wasn't shown. So. Exactly. It, it just goes to the character, too. You know, where Rachel's ready to throw down and fight, obviously Dalton and Lily weren't. Lily was ready to fight until she got a costume, man. Exactly. Then you hide behind the long arm of the law. Nah. How long of an arm is that? Uh, (laughs) This one's reaching all the way from Muncie. Uh, Yeah, yeah. (laughs) As Jordan and Dalton... Lock up here. Jordan taking the early advantage. See Jordan James sporting some new uh, gear. Wrestling, yeah. Wrestling gear there. Yeah. Look, he. It, it, it looked just like you guys used to do with his underwear. He wrote his name on it. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an L and an R on his boots too. <laughs> an L and an R. Yeah, left and right, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but they're on the wrong one. <laughs> Who was that? Somebody <laughs> did do that back there. Was that uh, somebody? I can't remember who. One of the one of the trainees did that one day. <laughs> no, it was Logan. Okay, it was Logan. When he was first, one of his first couple matches, yeah. when he put his boots on, he put the wrong ones yeah. on. <laughs> no, it was JB. I can see. It that. was JB who did that, and I was like, "Why did you tell anyone that you just did that?" Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because if you really look, boots sometimes are hey, hard to tell, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, he's got the, uh, I see the purple. We're used to seeing him with the green. Used to seeing him sporting the green. He's changing it up a bit. Yeah, he was in a different pair last week. So yeah. I believe right Irish ahead. whip. Hip toss by Dalton Love. Oh, but missed on the elbow drop. Probably shouldn't have imitated Rick Rude there. Yeah. I know Jordan James uh, today posted he was going to drop uh, Don't Love into a new Kiss song. No, because then, then then we'd have to hate Kiss. <laughs> Although, I, I'm at that age. I don't want to rock and roll on Iron Party every day. Like, like, we could pick one day of the week for part of it, but not all day and all that. I can rock all night, or I can party all day, but not together. And, and by rock, you mean in the wheelchair? Yes. Or the rocking chair? Sorry. Yeah. I, yes. I, I, I was mistaking you for uh, VIP there. <laughs> 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 and Dalton Love yeah. looks like he's walking out. Got out of the ring. <laughs> Reggie in the huddle <laughs> with him. <laughs> Don't, oh, caught him off guard there. I, Jordan thought he had the upper hand. And love, Irish whip. And a forearm clothesline, it looked like. I think these guys have ever put their hair on the line for a hair versus hair match. You know what? Let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll try. But you know what? If Dalton lost, he'd probably make Lily cut hers. 
Yeah. And then she'd be bald, and then we couldn't say anything about her. We'll probably get slapped, and he'd yell us, keep my wife's name out your mouth. <laughs> All right, I've, I've, had, I've had enough energy drinks for today, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we got to cut you off. Man. I need the mute button. We need a seven-second delay in here. Yes. Fans get behind <laughs> Jordan James now. Speaking of that, I'll be I'll be heading to West Philadelphia right after the show tonight. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I want to say uh, congratulations. Actually, uh, South, but yeah. Getting called uh, back up to MLW. Yeah. Look for the next three shows. Yes. I'll, I'll be honest. I'm not looking forward to drives to Philly in uh, January and February. Right. Yes, you never know what kind of weather you're going to. Uh, that, 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 that's where that trip's going to cost me an extra $70. To have to take that turnpike. Oh, yeah. The most expensive toll road in the world, legitimately. And, uh, yeah. Like, have you ever driven that turnpike in the winter? It's it's fantastic. Like, I think the roads are heated. So, like, there's never any snow. There you go. Yeah. It is a nice turnpike. And then, like, every couple hundred miles, there's, like, a little oasis of like, it, it's like a gas station mixed with a a rest that's stop. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's how they are. Those are yeah. called uh, service areas. Yes. Is Dalton still in control here? And still talking his trash. He has not stopped talking trash. He needs to stop hanging out with me. <laughs> <laughs> Like, when I'm old, I'm definitely going to be like one of those Muppets, the old guys up in the balcony. Yeah. <laughs> That's totally going to be me, and I'm fine with that. Those guys are funny. Jordan rolls over for the pin, but no, Dalton able to to get out of that, by, but he had to release the hold to do so. Well, we just lost another camera. I think fans are getting excited over there. Brian Clark heading out so we can get another angle of this matchup here. All right, Dalton Love still in control of this matchup. Jordan James' arm twisted and tied on that rope. Lily Love getting involved in this matchup now. I'm back. 
had to take the opportunity to uh, scare your granddaughter who was messing with a casket out there. Oh, okay. <laughs> God. <laughs> I love Halloween. I love scaring yeah. kids. Probably because I don't really like kids. Was the kids <laughs> excited out there on the wall again? Is that what happened? It <laughs> wasn't a kid. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, if you worked at Toys R Us at Christmas time, you wouldn't like kids or Christmas after that. Oh, well, he turned that into a sit-out. Yeah. Does he get it here? One, two, no! Jordan able to get out of that one. I thought... Two count. Yeah. Dalton going up top here. Here we go. We'll see a frog splash out of it. Oh, he took too long and he missed. It did not land on that lily pad. Get that reference? See, that was two and one. Yes. <laughs> Jordan James with a little smile there. I think he might think he has him here. No, he does oh. not. These guys are battling. Yeah, they are. It's a good match. They're putting on tonight. a hell of a match right now. And I can't believe I'm at a point now where I'm actually rooting for Jordan James. <laughs> oh! Northern oh. Lights suplex pin. He's got it locked One, in hard. Two. No. Oh. Wow, he had it locked in about as tight as you can. Why is Bruce McGar tagging me in photos? Bruce, I'm doing something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm checking my phone. That's what We're I'm doing. working here, Bruce. Yeah, you can call it that. I think uh, Dalton's maybe taking a little too much time. What's he got? Oh, uh, I don't know, but the referee's he's caught got, it. He's got something in his hand. Hold on. What's Lily doing? Lily picked up that two by four. As the referee got whatever Dalton had out, Lily positioned the two by four. Whoa. What the? Man. Lily coming in for, for the clutch move using yeah. the two by four that Jordan James brought out against him. Wow. Oh. You know what? That's a smart move by Lily, but illegal. Yeah, I mean, referee didn't see it. I mean, honestly, that's a page out of Jordan's book. Yeah. You got like a graveyard of suckers over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't eat before I came. And yeah, I didn't either. Yeah. I, got, I got some chili waiting on me when I get home. Oh, so. there you go. I probably got a bad decision waiting on me after this. Yeah. <laughs> Taco Bell rallies. <laughs> with, with a 12-hour drive. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bad decision. <laughs> The person who, who who might be riding with me might regret it too. <laughs> <laughs> well, what match do we got next, Pete? Next is uh, the crowning of a new tag team champion. New tag team champions. Yeah, it's kind of hard saying that, but yes, folks, yeah. we know there will be a new tag team champion crown tonight. Yes. Again, let us reiterate it, Pete, for everybody. Yeah. Um, uh, Damon Rill was injured this past weekend, and he will no, not be able to wrestle for a minimum a month, looking more like two months. Mm -hmm. And with them knowing that they would not be able to defend the titles tonight or in the near future, they got a hold of us and said they wanted to do the right thing and relinquish the titles and not hold them until that 30th day and then have them stripped from them. So that happened. So earlier in the evening, they gave the belts back, and they gave them back to us, and we are going 
to be crowning new tag team champions. Yes. It, it, and that, that honestly, that is very unfortunate news. Like we said earlier. Yes. Look, even if I don't like you, I don't want to see you hurt. No, I want to see you be no. able to. I want to be able to make fun of you. Can't yeah. do that if you're not wrestling. So, yeah. <laughs> Just it's to be not honest. Like in football, I don't. You know, I may not like certain players, but I don't want to see them cart it off on a cart. Yeah, it depends who it is. <laughs> I mean, Tom Brady or Bill Belichick. I, look, I'm not gonna shed a tear. Might eat an extra nacho or two for that. <laughs> but yes, triple threat. Tag team match for the WCWO Tag Team Championship. Yeah. M2P. M2P still feels they've been robbed because they beat the highlight reel to have a shot at the titles. And, and look, I, I honestly, I hate to do this. I hate to do it. But I understand where they're coming from. Right. They, did, they were right. But what... A lot of people don't understand is they were in, um, Zay Gates was injured after that matchup, and they didn't know if they were going to be able to wrestle right. tonight. Or not. Right. It, 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 and we saw a video that they put out actually today showing that, that they had gotten cleared. I don't know what doctor they went to. It might have been Tua Tonga Valoa's right. doctor. Could have been Dr. Seuss. Who knows? Yeah. But they did have a doctor clear them. So they were, I mean, and they said they were going to be clear. We went ahead and put them in the match. We went ahead and advertised it. So right. they came through with the proof. Because if they didn't come through with the proof, we were going to pull them from the match. Right. And we, we, had, we had to do something to uh, take care of the matchup. That's why we had the number one contender match last week. In a just in case something happened and they weren't going to be able to be in the matchup. And then it just so happened that they got cleared. And with Highlight Reel not being in the matchup, we decided to add Ruthless Domination to that matchup. Yes. Well, in, in, in Ruthless Domination, they they have a legit claim in it. I mean, yeah, they, they won they a couple did. weeks ago, but they lost last week. They've got victories over uh, both these teams. And they're former tag champs as well. Yeah, multi-time so, former champs. So. Yes. And, and then the Russians have actually held tag gold here. Yeah, they won the For titles. one week, but yeah. they held it. Matter of fact, it was about a year ago. Yes, yes. When did it last Black Friday? I believe so. Yeah. Which, uh, I was getting to that earlier. Black Friday, one of our biggest shows of the year. It's called Black Friday for a reason. All right, we had, to, we had to solve something there. But, yes, Black Friday, one of our biggest shows of the year, always the Friday after Thanksgiving. So once you've stuffed your face with all that turkey on Thursday and then you've finished off whatever leftovers you may have had on Friday, come to the dub. It's always a hell of a show. We put on a great show on Black Friday. Plus, the football games are probably going to suck because it's probably the Bears, probably the Cowboys. The Vikings aren't doing too well, and we know the Packers aren't doing well. You know, those those are the, the obvious. And, look, we're all going to see. Like, we, we, we know the, uh, the now the commanders, they're not any good. So the games aren't going to be any good. You can't go shopping anywhere. Walmart's closed. Best Buy is closed. Well, they're closed on Thursday. But who wants to deal with those crowds on Friday? Oh, you can shop. You can do your shopping from, from the crowd. You, that's what I do now. I don't even go out for, for, for the Black Friday sales. I just order online and go pick it up on, like, Monday. So, yeah, there's really no excuse not to come to the dub. As Pete is over here probably looking at a recipe or something. <laughs> but, yes, we're looking at November 25th, Black Friday. Always a big, fun show for us. Honestly, October, November, and December are our hottest uh, months of the year for the dub. Always big, fun shows. Crowds always turn out. We got a hell of a crowd here tonight as we are waiting for the third tag team to come out being Ruthless Domination. Yeah. And we got interrupted because they were like, hey, what happened to the tag title? They're already out there. Yeah. We're already ahead of you on this one, guys. Yes, yeah. Uncle Fester coming in asking for those. They're just collecting <laughs> dust in here. Right. No, they're already out there. We're ready to crown new tag team champions. 
Well, Brian, here's the football games you were talking about. Buffalo at Detroit. All right, Detroit sucks. Buffalo's going to smash them. Giants, who are, what, 6-1 and one now? Yeah, somehow they're getting lucky. Yeah, against the Cowboys, who are 5-2. and two. All right, that, yeah, that, that, that actually might, What time's that game, though? That's the uh, 430 <laughs> well, game. Well, see, these are all on Thursday, so yeah, it don't Thursday. matter. Yeah, yeah football will yeah. be over with by then. Oh, yeah, that's true. I don't know. I feel like we used to do it Thursday night for some reason. I don't uh, know. We always did a Thursday night. I think yeah. it was a show, but it was yeah. just uh, a, fun a fun show. show. Well, let's go to the ring announcer, David Lee. As I hit my radio voice for that. So, did I hear David Lee right? That uh, he, he he announced a combined weight for him to be at like three hundred some pounds. Yeah. How much candy did they eat? I'm telling you, man. There ain't no way they weigh that much. I've got Speedway hot dogs bigger than them. <laughs> Actually, I, legit, I think the Costco hot dogs are. <laughs> you have to pump ten gallons of gas to get the hot dog for free. Hold on, is that a thing at Costco? That's a super trooper. Remember that? He had a, oh. He a couple of gallons in the trash can. Oh, yeah. Yes, he gets a pretty hot dog. <laughs> well, here we go. We've got uh, Hammer opening up. Against Russian, Russian. number one, because he's the first one in. Yes. I know you guys are as confused as me, but it's yeah. that Hammer on the back of his trunks. Oh, hold on. That's what you meant. They were wearing the opposite. Yeah. Well, they... they <laughs> Did they mix each other's bags up? What yeah, happened there? I don't know, but he's got hammer trunks, and he's got Scorpion, and their paints on the opposite side. Hammer trunks. Are those like hammer pants? No, those ain't nearly baggy enough. No. <laughs> but they got their makeup on the opposite side. Oh, it quickly, Ghost. Yeah. This could be it. And wow. look, M2P, not, not even worried. They, they had confidence in the Russians there for some reason. Oh, ruthless domination. Uh, reiterating what 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 I've wow. been messaged by Rob Pugh about quite a bit, saying that M2P yeah. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely have fans that are avid and very vocal on their dislike for M2P. Yeah. And to be honest, I get it. I do. I get it. But hey, it's a younger generation. Wait Look. a minute. Hold on. What is that? Wow. Um. Cannonball. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say there. Wow, Scorpion with a big leg drop there. <laughs> he, he, just, uh. he just went airborne, and Scorpion didn't even intentionally, like, miss it. Like, he was just stumbled out of the way. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wow, M2P tagged in. You all right over there? I am there. I'm going to go the rest of the night. I bet. What was in there? <laughs> Whatever it was, I might need some for the 12-hour drive. <laughs> now, I made that drive to New York one time and with somebody, and they, they took a nap once we got to Dayton, and I took over. 
They woke up and they're like, all right, where are we at? And I was like, the Lincoln Tunnel? <laughs> and, and, and you got to I literally hadn't slept for 24 hours, and we left at like midnight. And they're like, how'd you do that? And they were, and they were like, how? like, I know you didn't sleep. And I was like, don't look in the back seat. And there was like six monster BFCs oh, back no. there. Yeah. <laughs> And then I had like got to New York City, had to walk like six blocks to my hotel, to a terrible hotel. <laughs> and Scorpion's got a lot of hammers uh, moves in this matchup, I've noticed. Yeah. And, and he's been working out a lot too. Yes. And I think he grew an inch. <laughs> yeah. And you know he just had to be screwing with him there. <laughs> you know he had to. I thought he was going to move him over and tag in there. Oh, big stop to the ankle there. Yeah. Well, yeah, Zay Gates backing off. I mean, I don't blame him. Hammer into the ring now. As you see, Eric Onyx on the middle rope trying to, to get Zay Gates to get up. It's hard when you get your ass beat, though. <laughs> Uh-oh, military press wow, coming. Oh, Zay got out of it and smartly chopped him down. Went for the legs, got him on, got him down to his level. Ball for the quick pin. Oh, I like the one rushing got tangled up in the ropes trying to climb in. Oh, I mean, they're built like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Like, I get it. <laughs> I get tangled up getting in there. <laughs> I don't understand how Haystacks got in there. Anyway. <laughs> I know, a he went over the top, that's why. It was rough climbing out, right? When you were announcing? Ago, yeah. yeah. That's why you need to do what David Lee does. Just stand <laughs> on the, stand on the, uh, the walkway there. Yeah. Then Eric Onyx finally got tagged in and immediately starts talking crap. And did you, did you, I mean, you were here last week. You hear Eric Onyx try to throw Zay under the bus for why he lost? Yeah. Say so he tried to blame that on Zay? Yeah, I know. It's crazy. But they seem to be good. Like, he, yeah. I, I called him out on it. He's like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Look, we bring him in here for commentary, test their chops. And uh, Eric, Eric is known to put his foot in his mouth literally every time he speaks. So. Yeah. And Eric got him in a vine there. But Hammer, Scorpion, which one is that now tonight? That's Hammer. That's Hammer. <laughs> Just kicked him in the face to get out of it. That's one way to get out of the move. Oh, and you see one, one, one of the uh, Russians tagged in there. But I, I don't think Ham Scorpion, Hammer, whichever one, saw that. Oh, and he just walked right up to him. Very clever. Wow. And a splash on the back. That's a lot of weight coming down. Wow. Hey, Alan, he's having fun with that. Yeah, he was. Well, that's because it wasn't off the top turnbuckle that time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big splash oh, into the man. corner. And the rush is working well as a team right now. You Again, they. Leg sweep? I think they just call that a leg sweep. Okay. <laughs> it's like Chinese food. Like they, they just call it food. Okay. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but again, hey, they won their right to be in this match last week. They so. Sure did. And, and you see, Scorpion, hammer tonight. Uh, tag in Zay Gates to get out of there. Get away from that double team on the Russians. And Zay wow. Gates coming in hot. Oh, he came over. He, he, he got everybody. Wait a minute. Zay up, springboards from one rope to the other. Went flying through the air. Took out the Russians. Did he take himself out? Yes. Here we go. Is 
Bay Gates in control right now. Oh! I mean, yeah, what was that? Like, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold up. That's hold the on. Russians. <coughs> hold on. Yeah, wait a minute. That's the Beaver Boys. Yeah. But it was supposed to be. What happened? How'd they get the Russians' gear? Wait a minute. I mean, look, we'll have to figure out what happened, but we have new WCWO Tag Team Champions in the Beaver Boys or the Russians, something. Wait a minute, what? What's we're going to we're gonna have to figure this out. Who's that in the ring? Well, some, at least they're following whatever it is. Somebody came out and said, come with me now. But look, we got something to deal with. The Russians were supposed to be in there. Do we, I, I don't know, did the Russians let the Beaver Boys. I don't know. Then again, do you know what the Russians look like? They always wear a mask. No. But they wrestled the Beaver Boys last week. Right. We got to get that figured out. Are the yeah. Beaver Boys the tag champs? Because they, they wrestled as the Russians. They walked out with those titles. I mean, nine tenths of the law, I guess, right? I guess. We got a lot of discussions and meetings this week. Yeah, we do. But here's something to discuss. First blood. It's time. Sorry. I can do the better. <clears throat> it's time. There we go. <laughs> Got to do a buffer justice there. <laughs> hey, stop stealing my stuff. <laughs> Main event time here at WCWO's Freaky Friday. WCWO Outlaw Championship on the line. Blake Wright, three matches last week. Three. Got screwed by VIP in the tables match against Vinny as if the odds weren't stacked against him already. Yeah, I mean, because he overcame that big matchup against Hadari. I thought Hadari had that match won. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And on the bad knee that he suffered in, in the first match, Due to Logan Myers. Yep. And then VIP comes out and screws him. Vinny Machetti somehow held on to the outlaw title. I mean. Yeah, it's. it's and, and, and Blake was irate. Yeah. You saw the video at the opening, the the, the opening video tonight. And you would have thought uh, Benny was the one that got uh, robbed last week. Uh, right. Because he was all upset. 
Yeah. Well, he was upset because Blake issued the first blood match right there. And you know what? Management had his back right off. Like, he already knew. Yeah. He issued it. He knew we'd approve it. First blood tonight. I don't know when the last time we had a first blood match was. It's, 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 it's been a couple of years, I believe. Yeah, yeah. And, and you saw Vinny made a good point. He said, Blake, you don't know what I do outside of wrestling. Yeah, and then he held up that damn meat cleaver. He is a butcher. Legitimately. Yes. Or, or sorry, for smart marks. Shoot. <laughs> he is a butcher. Yes. That honestly was haunting. That's Hopefully good. he didn't bring the damn cleaver. Oh, well, he I don't know. If he had, I'm sure Michael Myers would have taken it. Well, here's the thing. You never know what he pulls. He pulls yeah. out of that. Yeah. Outfit of his, you never know what he's going to have. I mean, it, it, and Blake had, had, had a legitimate complaint for it. So here we are, first blood for the Outlaw Championship. I'm ready for it. Now if only Vinny would finally get in the ring. Let's get this match started. I've been amped up for this match all night. And Brian's ready to give him some Taco Bell. I'm not even hungry right now. But you know you want some, so you can prank your uh, well, riding buddy. Yeah, I want to. I want to see. I want Blake to make Vinny bleed his own blood. Trying to do on that. Short, sweet, to the point. Yep. Looks like he's got one of the new. Uh, I mean, one of the uh, kiddos that belong to. Is that what happened to J James Kendo stick? I don't know. I was sitting away from him. Never got too close to Kendo sticks. Not a big fan. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I met Sam and he told me to go screw myself, so I listened to him. I wouldn't get him with a Kendo stick. That sounds good. <laughs> With their clothes, they close at nine. Some of them closer than that right now. Yeah. Popeyes is better though. Some of those folks still think COVID's gone. And finally, the lockup has happened. First blood match now underway. Outlaw title on the line. Blake Wright, Vinny Vachetti. And in case you haven't talked to Vinny recently, he will tell you he's the last one to be a double champion. He is that. I just heard the night he won it. I was also here the night he lost it. <laughs> the next night? <laughs> no, he helped for a while, believe it or not. This crowd, I'd, I'd say 90% pro Blake. 10% morons vote for cheering for VIP. <laughs> now look at this one. Any fan in the stands, I don't care who you cheer for, just be here. Yes. Oh! That was a slap to the face, literally. <laughs> oh, and he answered right back. But Blake knew what was coming. Oh, Suey! He didn't catch all of him. Oh, he went down head first. He didn't catch all. He got a little bit of him. I, 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 I think, I think what happened there was Vinny saw it happen and tried to get out of the way, just didn't get entirely out of the way. And now they're out of camera. I'd like to have seen had Mubble come out there tonight because I bet you. Bro. Hey, I brought it. There's nobody to operate it. I'm sure, Blake hit his head out there.
He's going to attempt it one more time. No, and this time Vinny definitely got out of the way in time. Blake. Oh, knee to the face off the apron. Looks like Vinny was able to turn just in time. And uh, you got to protect that forehead. That forehead is like usually the first thing to break open on these guys. And they're out of frame again. Oh, I thought that was Reggie that got hit. Man. Too bad. <laughs> right? So sad. Hey, we heard it. Hey, we got to see a little bit of it. No, I think that was Vinny. Oh, <laughs> Blake going up top. Vinny getting up. Swinging at nothing. Blake off the top with the knee. Caught him in the chest, though, man. He Here's the gone. thing. Blake is doing these moves off the top and coming down like that. He had that knee injury last week. Right. I guess it's fine. But I would. I don't know if I would risk it again. Oh, and, and this is really quick into a match I expected. Of course, VIP coming out, and there's nothing anybody can do anything about. Of course, VIP would get involved into this match. They're making sure Vinny holds on to the title. As you see TJ Powers blasting Blake. And, 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 and referee Wayne Silver just, ha just has to watch. His only job is to see if one of them bleeds and in the match. Blake with a double clothesline knocking TJ and Barron down. Oh, and Vinny catches him with a kendo stick. Oh. Oh, these gut shots. Shots to the kidney. That's, that's where you gotta go right there. And he's doing it. He's trying to bust Blake open right now. As you saw, VIP came out and targeted Blake's head too. But also, uh, was he getting cocky or was he catching his breath? Because he's been going nonstop since VIP came out there. He had to catch his breath, all those blows to, to Blake's forehead. Oh. Yeah, but on the bright side, at least Blake was already on the ground. They said, Co who yelled covering? You can't pan in this. Must have been Scarecrow. <laughs> Call back. <laughs> oh, and a knee to the forehead. Another one. But Blake didn't phase him. Catches him with two kicks. And now he's wailing away. He's putting elbows to him. Yes, he is. That'd bust you open quick. And you see fans getting up saying they're 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 trying to see if Vinny's gonna bleed. And I, look, let's be honest. If Vinny even shows a hint of blood, their fans are gonna call this one out. I don't know. I was talking. <laughs> he must have, cause uh, TJ slides in a chair. And again, all of this is legal. First blood rules. I leave it to Itch to stand right in the center of the frame. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, he's got him in a full Nelson, but that does that that won't help in the match. I think he's trying to drop him on that chair. Oh, oh. DDT on the chair. Yeah. Ref's got to check him. That could yeah. be it. No, he said no, not bleeding. Oh. Well, the butcher mentality coming out. He missed the first stab, goes for another one, missed it. And Blake, ah, pulling out his Captain yeah, America instincts. In yeah, he uh, he used the, the chair as a shield. Chop Vinny, Vinny answers back. Sends Blake tumbling to the outside. Ref said no. Miscommunication. Then he had to re remind that it was no DQ. <laughs> but that's just that just shows how good VIP is at manipulating the rules. He was like, "No, ref's looking at me." Yeah, because that's just what they're used to. And Baron biting. Trying to chew his head open. That's one way to do it. And, and, and you see Vinny still don't, just attacking the forehead. I don't know how he's not bleeding after Yeah. After Baron treating his forehead like I treat White Castle. <laughs> Goes for it, misses! Hold on, check him, check him ref. Then he bust himself open when he missed. No, ref said no, and in comes VIP. Luckily, Blake has the equalizer. Well, that one came back. Not good. And so, Blake's lucky he didn't bust himself open with that chair. Oh, caught him on the back of the neck. That spine. Is he gonna try hitting him with the number one knee? I think so. Well, he's got something in mind. We've seen the chair in the corner twice tonight, and it hasn't worked out for either one. Oh! Drop kick to the chair. Then he's got to be knocked out. If he's not bleeding, he's got to be knocked out. No, he's still moving. Well, make me a liar. <laughs> Going for the number one knee, calling it out. And, and VIP standing around watching. Oh, Vinny dropped. He don't have enough. Hey, could be something on the bottom of his boot. That could have worked. TJ up, he's still, VIP still out here trying to give Blake hell, causing a headache. Oh, that was just enough of a distraction for Vinny to recover. Those kidney shots. Hell, if he ain't bleeding on the outside, he's bleeding internally, I'm sure. And look, he just wailing away on his forehead while he's in the corner, face against the turnbuckle. Ref said no, he's still not bleeding. It's looking for Plex like he's trying to do simple math out there. This is fine! Anybody's got the belt to him now. And again, it's legal. Yeah, he is. Oh, and a code breaker with the belt. Blake's still moving. Blake, well, Vinny going for a pin, but there's no count, Vinny. I think Vinny, that hit, Vinny took to the head 
Yeah. Oh! Again. We're going to have to address. That's another thing we're going to address. Hold on. What did they just. They just tossed Vinny something. He's got something. Something tiny. Vinny, did he just spread something on his hands? Number one knee. Wait a minute. Hold on. Was he said I'll make him bleed? Wait a minute. The referee is called for the bell. I. He said Vinny's busted open. So look at his hand. Look at his hand. That that had to have been a blood capsule. Vinny was trying to cheat. Yeah. As if they hadn't cheated enough. Talk about having the door kick you in the ass on the way out. <laughs> Vinny, that backfired on That had to have been a blood capsule. Because we saw it. He bit it open. He poured something on his hand, and then his hands got blood in it. And it got all yeah. over VI or got all over Vinny's head. Blake able to use that against him. Wait a minute, hold up, what we got? Members of WLR coming out. Pogo. JKO, Johnny Wade coming out. Which, hold on, why is JKO coming out to help Blake? Well, this is look, they're they're coming out because of VIP. They they are, I get look. But again, we, we saw the last time Blake was here. Before his absence. Same thing. It's the same thing. There's no difference. It's like West Side Story. <laughs> Blake Wright, your new WCWO Outlaw Champion. Yeah. Dethroning Vinny Vachetti. Ending this reign of VIP. I have to mute it. G Easy will sue us. <laughs> well, another great show in the books. Big card in the books. We're going to start off our month of Black Friday next month. I mean, next, next week. week. But yeah, you're right. Next month, too. Yeah. Yeah. Thanksgiving <laughs> just. Uh, Less than four weeks away. Yes, it is. And again, huge Black Friday show. Yes. November 25th. We're already working on uh, Speaking of that, matches. two years ago. Two years ago. We had one hell of a match. It, it, literally, it, it's hard to do. It's hard to do a first in pro wrestling. Two years ago, Black Friday, we did a first in pro wrestling. Yes. We did the Pocky One Chip Challenge ladder match two yes. years ago. And you know what? I'm pitching that again. I'm trying to get that. Yes. That was a fun match. I'm going to see if there's like six guys that we can't torture with this one again. <laughs> Hopefully we can get that one pulled off again. But anyway, I'm big And Colby deep. Jack won that one. Was that? <laughs> Colby yes. Jack won that one. Yep. Well, he's full of milk, man. All right, right. Yeah. Didn't even affect him. Blake Wright, your new WCWO Outlaw Champion, Vinny Machetti. No longer. The Russians, a.k.a. Beaver Boys, your new tag team champions. I don't know uh, what we're going to do about that. Yeah, I have no clue. That one, see what's up with that. Guys, thank you again for watching WCWO's Freaky Friday. Always a big show for us. If you were here and watching this, hey, we're glad you enjoyed this, Matt, the show so much. You watched it twice. As you see Blake Wright with a fan holding up a sign. If you weren't here tonight, that sucks. Try to be here. Yeah, yeah. You never know what you're going to miss, folks. <laughs> yes. And, again, once attendance gets back up, we, we're going to bring back the lives. Yeah. Just hard to do. You just can't afford one without the other, honestly. So, right. Yeah. Big Pete, take yeah. us home. I'm good. Let's get out of here, brother. Sounds good, good to, to me. Go.